fresh early lessons in desert combat, the 1st Infantry Division fought valiantly against the well-equipped and more experienced Africa Corps. Swimming across the North African deserts, they pinned Rommel's troops on the Tunisian coast. With nowhere to retreat and surrounded by Allied naval and air forces, the Africa Corps surrendered in May of 1943. Operation Torch was a resounding victory as the Big Red One took 40,000 prisoners and successfully helped push Germany out of North Africa. Meanwhile, Churchill convinces Roosevelt that attacking Europe through Italy will shorten the war, saying that the Mediterranean is the soft underbelly of the crocodile. Known as Operation Husky, plans are devised for another massive amphibious invasion, this time targeting Sicily and involving British and American troops as well as the Navy and Air Corps. When the news reaches General George S. Patton that he will be commanding the American troops, the fiery general proclaims, I want those first division sons of bitches. I won't go on without them. After learning the true scale of the offensive, Hitler immediately cancels a planned offensive on the Russian front and orders the transfer of German troops to assist in the defense of the key Italian island. In the early morning hours of July 10, 1943, with the coastline heavily defended and the fearsome Hermann Daring Panzer Division lying in wait, the 1st Infantry Division prepares for another beach landing, this time near the town of Jela on the southwest shore of Sicily. The silence is broken when General Patton's command ship, the Monrovia, and other battleships begin to pound the Italian coast with massive 16-inch shells. As fires from the naval bombardment break out along the besieged coastline, the Big Red One is ordered into their assault boats to begin the invasion of Italy.
Fuckers! Still have that comp V? Make us a door, would you?
Parker, you got that radio with you? Bottom of the sea, Sarge. Too bad, we could have used that on the beach. Good work! Rangers should have the west! Let's clear this... the Italians from the east! Company. There's a Lieutenant Delaney looking for you fellas. He's down the street that way. Sergeant, good to find you and your squad still in one piece. Hey, where's Parker? Damn Italians got him. Listen up, Hawk. A glider from the 82nd crashed near a school at the north side of town. We think some of them may still be alive, but the area is hot with Italian infantry. I can't spare anyone, so I need you and your squad to get over there and do what you can. Yes, sir. See you at the rendezvous point. You heard the man. Cross level your ammo and water, and follow me.
Marines do. There! Sarge, look! Covering fire! Fox Company. Well, you're a damn sight for sore eyes. We lost most of the stick in the crash. Only me and a couple of others made it out. We managed to secure the area for now, but it's only a matter of time before they regroup and counterattack. Pass it over! We're clear. Thank you, boys. We can take it from here. I'm starting to see why the Big Red One has a reputation. Thank you, sir. All right, Fox! Let's not kid the Lieutenant Wade! 